Hello there everybody, how the hell are you? PT Pop here and tonight I'm going to be talking about call centers and how they're going to be replaced entirely by artificial intelligence. Stay tuned man. I want to apologize for the sound tonight. All of my audio equipment is um, packed in my car because I have a gig tomorrow. So my fancy schmancy soundboard and my microphones are all... They went, bye-bye. They're in my car. So I'm I'm talking through this magnificent, wonderful... Um, Mayor D headset. So I know it sounds real tinny and flat and just awful. It's awful. Oh, Bill Fleet and Meister will be so disturbed. I'm disturbed by it, actually. Hi there. I would like to uh, thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I now have almost 1,100 subscribers. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Um, I also want to say that um, I'd like to have more subscribers. If you want to subscribe, if you like my channel, if I make you laugh, if I give you a good giggle, click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up to Snooter. And we'll, I'll bring you content at least three times a week. I'll bring you stuff to make you laugh, to make you think to help you with restless leg syndrome or talk about your call center concerns. I also have a new book I've written about working in a call center. It's called Press One for Murder. It's about a young man who has had it working in a call center and several of his customers turn up dead. So a couple of months ago, one of my wonderful viewers and subscribers to my channel wrote to me and told me that he used to do quality assurance and listen to, you know, call center representatives calls. He worked in the call center. He did quality assurance. And what he started to see was that there was this new software and new technology being put in place that was going to eventually be able to predict a call center representative's reactions to things and who would be successful and who wouldn't. So he said there were certain people that they would, uh, direct traffic to intentionally to see how they would react to it, or they would direct traffic to them to get them frustrated, get them to quit, things like that. But he also said there's new software out there, artificial intelligence, designed by Google and designed by some of the major software companies that can mimic and emulate human interaction with a, somebody calling into a call center. And this software and this technology is going to do away with and completely eliminate human people, human individuals, human beings doing the call center work. And I was fascinated with this. Absolutely fascinated. So I did some research on this. And I guess Google has this thing. Is a company that they took over called Deep Mind Technologies. Deep Mind Technologies is a British artificial intelligence company. It was founded in September 2010. And it was created, they created a neural neural network that learns how to play video games in a fashion similar to humans. But how I understand it, there is artificial intelligence out there that can act just like a human on the internet. So for instance, if you call into your bank, you say, hey, I'm really ticked off about these overdraft fees in my checking account, I want them waived right now. You're going to be interacting with what sounds like a human. The voice will sound human, the inflections will sound human, the response and the interaction will be completely humanoid sounding or human, human-ish. But in, in fact, in this new artificial intelligence by Google, you're going to be speaking to a computer and you won't know. The traditional person won't know about it. And if you think about it, most of the time, most companies completely bury their toll-free number on their website, like on the, the bottom of the page, on the last page, on the about screen and stuff like that, so you don't really ever see the toll-free number because they really don't want you calling in. Trust me, they don't want you calling in. It's too expensive for you to call and talk to a live person. So they hide the toll-free numbers. They want you to either email them or do online chat or get your information on the web. 
So what they're doing now is they've got this artificial intelligence that will emulate human no, human interaction to such a degree that the traditional person calling into a call center will have no idea if they're actually speaking to a digital digital robot. And I, I've done some a little bit of research on this, but DeepMind is one company. Um, and I found articles that if you just do a search for AI replacing call centers, the future of call center, AI for call center, um, almost inbound call centers. AI is shaping the future of call centers, this article says. This is from IBM.com. Artificial intelligence is redefining customer service. Does your call center stack up? To remain relevant in today's market, every business needs to begin thinking of the realm of unified customer experiences. We do. They do. Unified customer experiences. What does that mean? Brands need to deliver resolutions as quickly as possible, 24 by 7 by 365. While this would have been a complex and expensive undertaking a few years ago, see they're already talking about expense, advancements in technology continue to transform customer service interactions at call centers. Take this five-minute assessment today to see how your customer service stacks up. So basically, due to the cost, the high level of cost involved in staffing a call center many many of these companies are looking towards companies like ibm and google to create an artificial intelligent attendant like a, a voice attendant that comes on it sounds like pete pt pop it sounds like the representative but it's going to interact with you and for basic things it's going to be able to answer the questions and answer them quickly precisely and without no cost any cost at all I mean, this should pay off the software installment and the designing of the software for their company within one to two years, I would think. It'll cut back on handle time. It'll cut back on insurance costs. It'll cut back on having to pay salaries. It'll save companies millions and millions and millions of dollars. So what you're looking at is even though call centers are El Stinkerino to work in, I say within the next five to ten years, there won't be any call center jobs. They'll all be gone. I believe this. I truly believe this. Ringo Starr, peace and love. He believes in it too. Ringo Starr doesn't want to call call centers. So, all my observations about call centers will eventually, you know, be useless because there will be no more call centers. I don't think. But eventually, everything seems to be replacing humans. I mean, I rarely go into a store anymore to shop. I do it all online. The only human interaction, human interaction I have is with the UPS guy or the United States Postal Service guy that brings the package to my door. I say, hey, fella, thanks a lot. And he goes, yeah. And he runs from my door and he jumps back at his Jeep and he runs away. He drives away. Um, you walk into McDonald's now and it's all like touch screen and all the McDonald's around Cleveland. You, you don't have live people to take your order. You touch a screen, say, I want a cheeseburger, I want a fry, and then a person brings it to your table. There's only like five people to staff at McDonald's now. You've got a couple of cooks, you got somebody to drive through, somebody, you know, and you even pay digitally now. Um, you can even order your groceries online and have somebody deliver them to your house. So artificial intelligence and technology, not that having groceries delivered is artificial intelligence, but eventually, I'm guessing down the road, like in some Orwellian type thing, you're going to call some warehouse, say, bring me two steaks, a bag of rice, and some cereal, and a, and a box of uh, Franzetta uh, vino. And like some type of train will, it'll, they'll load it onto a like little type of like electronic power train that travels around the city. And they'll come up to your door, it'll drop it off in a pod, and, and like, I don't know, put it in a box at your front door, and you'll never speak to a person. So, the future of call centers is dying. It's going to be gone soon. Call centers, as I said in another, another, another video, are extremely expensive to run. The turnover is phenomenal. The expenses are phenomenal, and companies don't want to pay for it. So, think about it. The next time you call to your bank or your cell phone company or to your um, insurance company or whatever, 
listen to who you're talking to, see if it sounds human. And, and this intelligence can emulate male or female. The artificial intelligence can emulate dialects. Um, different, it can speak different languages. You don't have to hire people to speak English or speak Spanish or speak Chinese. Right now in, in the Philippines and India, millions of people are employed by call centers. This is going to wipe out their careers, wipe out their jobs. And these mega companies like Verizon and Google and all these places will replace. I don't think Google has a call center. I have no idea if they do or not, but it'll all be replaced by a robot, a digital robot. So call centers are El Stinkerino right now, but pretty soon they're going to be gone. They'll be bye bye. I would say I, I'm betting within the next five years, you'll see call center jobs be gone. You know, so there you have it. Um, thank you. I don't know who gave me this original article, who gave me this original idea for the video. I, I, I apologize. I've looked and I've looked and I've looked for this video or for the comments you made. And I, I don't remember who you are. I really don't. I don't remember your name. And I feel bad about it because I really like the interaction we were having. And I could I cannot find these comments anymore or the conversations we were having. And that's more my fault than anybody else's because I'm, I'm a little bit unorganized. Um, I look like Ringo Starr. The nose looks like Ringo Starr, doesn't it? Hello, peace and love, Ringo Starr. We all live in the yellow submarine. I love Ringo. I won't stop impersonating Ringo. But of course, like a good George Harrison, he does a bit of a my guitar gently weeping. So there you have it. So send me more ideas. I don't have any more to talk about with the call center thing. It's kind of uh, run its course with me. Call centers um, in their heyday uh, were very tough places to work, but they're going away and being replaced. You are all being replaced by robots. Robots are taking your jobs. I tell you now, run. Run while you still can. <laughs>